Marinki Prime versus Show. This will be the last match that I cast today. Are you guys ready? I certainly hope so. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to uh, this particular map, which is, of course, the Antigua Shipyard. And I bring you Marine King Prime, who is looking like he really is in his prime at the moment. He is in the pink trunks. He is playing Terran to the east of this map versus Bonant, Dignitas' very own show. He is in the red trunks playing Terran to the west. Wow, this could be a quite a stressful matchup. Show's TVT is pretty good. Unfortunately, his TV Marine King, possibly not quite as good. This is a challenging matchup between these two. TBT can always be very interesting, always a lot of variety involved. Unless, of course, you happen to be Marine King, in which case Marines might end up being built. It can happen. I'm just saying. There's the possibility. You should not discount it. He may build Marines. Show, on the other hand, his TBT style tends to uh, revolve around early Banshee play. Transitioning into whatever the hell he then pleases, but his Banshee play is somewhat legendary. Hellion play is not too shabby either, I've got to say. We'll see how that one goes against him. One of those would certainly be useful. Barracks coming down for Marine King. That's Refinery first right here from Shell. Intriguing. Could be indicating a very early Hellion play. Could, of course, be a Banshee rush. Both of these are possible. Refinery first means you get your factory as soon as the uh, barracks finishes. Which is really, really nice. You can easily get the gas that you need to pump out something very, very quickly there. So there won't be... I, Well, if there's an expand after this, I'll be really surprised in the first couple of minutes of the game. Because the only reason you'll be mining gas that quickly is to rush a factory and possibly a starport after that. So, no, there won't be an expansion from show coming forward for the moment. Marine King, on the other hand, has no gas whatsoever. Gasless expand from him would not be uncommon, but he's going to go grab it quite late, honestly. Picking it on 16. Doesn't believe that he needs it. Hasn't actually built anything in that regard yet. There we go. Marine King uh, moving that around. All sorted out. Let's see what's coming up from show. So the factory comes in at the right time. We'll see who he decides to turn that into. This is going to be a one barracks expand here from Marine King. He's actually gone double refinery. That's interesting. You don't need refinery for Marines, Marine King. What are you doing? Hmm, he's got Skullduggery afoot. Shenanigans, perhaps. We'll see what it decides to come from that. We'll see uh, more to the point what Show ends up doing here. He does have a lot of gas. Would enable him to build a starport immediately. He has only been mining off of one. Gonna open up with a Hellion here. And straight into a starport after that. Still only on one gas for this, though. I would imagine this will be Banshee play. The other possibility, of course, being a Red Flame Hellion drop, but... It doesn't make any sense. It takes too long to produce that many Hellions. You are right in for the tech lab here for the swap, as you can see. Fairly nicely timed. Yep. Banshee harassment. Marine King. Reactor coming up right there. Factory almost complete. Still mining from both gas. He stockpiled quite a reasonable amount. Going tech lab there. Straight into starport as well. Interesting stuff. Hellion moving in, and Marine King's probably going to smell Banshee play here. If it's not a pair of Hellions, then you generally know, unless your opponent's trying to trick you, that there isn't a reactor on there. Which means, well, what is the factory doing? That's the question you have to ask yourself. Marine King actually hasn't even scouted his opponent here, if you can believe that. I'm waiting to see what he does with that factory. He hasn't built anything out of it yet, so this will be a swap around. Or maybe not, actually. It's going to be a tank. Never mind. Expand to back that up. Hmm. The barracks with the reactor. That going the way that it is. A Viking coming out. He smells a Banshee. And that's exactly what's coming. And that Banshee does not have cloak. It was a very rushed Banshee. Only on one gas the entire time. He's only going to build a single Banshee and then go for the swap around. And that then secure his expansion with a tank. Now more to the point, can he do any damage? The answer is no, because there's a Viking on the way. The Viking shuts that down so fast it isn't even funny. So, there is the problem. So, Marine King's already got this before show even goes in. 
I know shows Banshee play is good, but really now. Marine King patrolling right here. They see him hating. Immediately shutting down that Banshee play. Show knows that he can't go in there. Being pursued there by the Viking. He may try and loop around and go for an attack on the expansion, but that's not going to happen yet. Continually being chased down. He should be able to make it back to his base without dying. Marine King saying, absolutely not. No Banshee shenanigans from you. The main problem being that that delayed shows expansion by a pretty significant amount of time. This expansion's already up and running. It's already got an orbital on it. The mules are going to be coming down any moment. That gives an economic lead to Marine King. The army size of Marine King is also a little bit bigger. So what does he do after this? Now he actually goes and finds his opponent. <laughs> it's 7 minutes 50. He's now only just started scouting for him. He's so incredibly confident that he can throw back whatever show puts up that he, he just doesn't care. Pretty impressive, really. Kind of scary. A little bit terrifying. That's Marine King for you in a nutshell. All right, show running over there to secure his expansion. He's going to need to because Marine King is now pushing forward. No stim available here. In comes the Banshee right there. Trying to do a little bit of damage. There's this engagement going on. The Marines are eliminated for Marine King. Medivac is healing them up, but Show holds on to that. And now the Banshee is going to be able to deal with that. Oh, a quick pickup by Marine King. Dropping the tanks. Incredibly good. Look at that. Amazing tank micro coming on right here. Tank drop micro. Devastating whatever he can find. The Vikings are going to shut down the Banshee. And those tanks still live. By all rights, they should have been dead, but no. Banshee's on 2 HP. Look at this. Loses one. Second one to back it up. This has got to... Oh, my God. What are you seeing here? Yeah. That is crazy. Banshee getting repaired. Show knows that's the only way to do it. Unfortunately, it's now taking fire from that Viking. Wants to get in there and do damage to the tanks. Focuses fire on the weak one. Nicely done. Lots of repairs coming in, but down goes the Banshee. Marine King follows up. And Show has very little, honestly, at this point. He's going to need quite a few Marines to deal with it. He's looking to try and get Stim. He doesn't have it yet. Shows Viking trying to shut down the Medivac, but that's unfortunately not going to happen. Marine King now with air superiority. Rolling into the base. Vikings on the ground. And that Stim isn't even going to finish. That, as far as I'm concerned, is what one might call a GG. We'll see if Show can pull off some kind of miracle. Let's be honest, he's dead. 78 supply to 35. Show pulls everything off the line. You know Show doesn't like to give up until the last possible moment. Charges in. The mule's there for moral support. Nothing more. G to the G, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Marine King Prime. He smells weakness and he smells exactly what Show is cooking. Mmm. And he ate it for breakfast.